actually filming now, so yeah. Okay. We're like belting out a little bit there. It's okay. I have a beautiful voice. I used to be in choir. He does have a beautiful voice. I, on the other hand, am deaf toned. Yeah, I hope our kids can sing like me. Not. But you know what I think it is? I think it's my condition. Like, because you know how like my I'm all clogged up. Everywhere? Yeah, that actually tends. Yeah, because you get, you hear it through your inner cochlear. Like ear. my 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 hearing is <coughs> horrendously bad. Like I have to like the TV sometimes. Like even if it's loud, I have to like go up close to it to hear it. And my TV has a pretty good sound system. Even with movies and stuff, I'm like, hold on, he quiet down, and my mom, mom was like, that's loud. Anyway, we're gonna go pick up my iPhone now. I'm really excited. I love you. All thanks to that dude. He's so cute. But yeah, anyway, I'm really excited. We actually, we kept checking this morning, like, and we finally called, and we're like, is it in? Because it kept saying it was out for delivery on the US UPS um, website. So yeah, but I'm gonna go get it. And it's good because we actually had an issue with the Blackberry this morning yeah. where I had to restart it because I couldn't text my mom back. And then he tried calling me and it would just keep ringing. And once it started up, it kept ringing, but no one was on the other end. So it's just like, it delays everything. It's just, it's really it's weird. Like a residual call. And so if I'm ever about to like be, you know, faced with death, I kind of want a phone that's reliable. Just in case, you know, I'm like a phone call away from like losing my leg or anything like that. God forbid. Knock on wood, but there's actually no wood here. Or metal. Knock, knock. <laughs> can we go to the bank too? I should deposit my check. It's like right across the street. I can go while you pick up my phone and then you can surprise me all over again. Be like, here's your phone. No, we're going straight over there first. Okay. Okie dokie. Whatever you, whatever you say, you're driving. But yeah, we're like just happy it's here because we waited for a while. Can you please go so that I can get... Why are you texting? Sorry, bad drivers all people. over here. Like seriously, there was... A at least when I text, I'm at least considered to go at least 35 miles an hour. We don't text and drive. Of course not. <laughs> I don't know where you're gonna go, dude. You just screwed me up. Yeah, these people are like crazy. Jesus Christ. At least he did it right, you know? Everybody else. Go, 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 go. No, you go first. Go first. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Yeah. People don't know how to. Oh, he almost hit him. Okay, so crazy driving here. You gotta be aggressive. Yeah, this is Northridge. Cheerleaders man. were right. Yeah, this is Northridge, <laughs> man. Glendale was crazy too. Glendale was crazier. Glendale is actually the worst city to drive in in the entire country. Yes. When it comes to accidents, they There's have the most actually, claims. Actually, there actually is factual proof of yeah. this. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go into the store now, so yeah. Woohoo! You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Can you see yourself? Yeah, I can. I can okay. see myself. <laughs> oh, whoa, watch out. Yeah. Flirting with the camera there. Yeah. Anyway. I well, learned from the best, so. Uh oh, meaning me, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, not your mom? My mom hates cameras. Okay, she, meaning me. Yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go pick it up now. Okay, so, um, I'm sorry if I didn't log immediately after getting my phone, but here it is. A very new, my very own iPhone 4S which I am so happy to have because my Blackberry is still probably on its last function mm. qualities. But yes, and I'm sure everyone knows about the iPhone for us. I'm not going to try explaining it and marketing it, but um, I'm just glad I have my 3D little hands on this now. Um, so I actually have a phone that functions and works and everything and I'm very, very grateful. So thank you, love. Um, thank you to my boyfriend. He's awesome for saving my life here. Anyway, um, 
I'm gonna try to keep this short because I'm tired and I want to sleep and my uncle's falling asleep and everyone else is asleep in my house but I actually finally wrote down the resolutions and like my review of it and I titled it February 2012 resolutions in that little notebook I always carry around just for lists and stuff so anyway the first one is to be more active slash go to the gym meaning I want to make a bigger effort to actually go to the gym but essentially my general sense is just to be more active and be more fitness oriented so um, if like let's say I schedule like three days a week to work out it doesn't necessarily have to go to the gym if I can I will but let's say there's like another day that I decide to go hiking instead or mountain climbing or something like that um or just take a run like go for a run or go swimming instead so it's like just be more active and I'm gonna try to schedule that into my schedule so that I actually like can manage my time to do it which is further explained later on second one number two is to eat healthier and I know that might be like oh you should just put it as like that should have included be more active but I think it's step it should be separate because people might often get confused I might get confused I just think it's two separate things because one yeah you could be more active and still be eating junk food because you, you're saying like oh well I'm more active so I can just burn it off or you can like eat healthy but not work out because you think eating healthy is enough so two different resolutions so yeah eating healthy er meaning doesn't mean I have to like become like this huge health nut and you know only like you know raw or you know certain portions and like go on a very strict diet it just means that because I don't believe in like restricting yourself I think it's actually that's why a lot of diets don't work because people restrict themselves so much and I've talked about this before so yeah I just want to eat healthier like cut down on the pizza cut back on the pizza and the burgers and stuff still eat them just not as often and have healthier selections you know if I can substitute them fine but not somewhere where like I'm craving it and you know I'm hating the food I'm eating either I got an itch number three is the better time management and I know I've mentioned this like the past few times because I've been like rushing to work which is so bad because I don't like being late like it makes me nervous but it's what's been happening lately and it's been happening for a while actually I hate to admit that because I used to be so punctual and then I did it to Sky and he made me late for everything and I feel like that just kind of got brought into my system and I don't blame him I blame myself because I could have controlled it you know but anyway so that just means going to bed earlier um, waking so I can wake up earlier so I can get ready earlier and you know but still take my time without rushing that and then you know essentially getting to work on time or wherever I have to get on time and that way everything else just smooths a lot more smoothly number three is to plan at least some one fun thing a month like just something where like I truly enjoy it something fun like a concert or some sort of like art festival or you know an event that's going on you know going to a play that kind of thing and I feel like I should start doing that even if it's something small if it's free that's okay it's better but you know something if it's something small something that like most people are like okay that doesn't seem like much fun just something that's fun to me and fun in general and instead of being like cooped up all the time or like going to the comedy club which I love to do so yeah number cinco is to be more organized and that kind of has to do with number three but it means more in terms of, like the physical sense like knowing where things are, being able to clean my room all the time, like keep my room clean, keep 
you know, things where, in, you know, where they belong or find a place for them. Um, organizing my closet, just kind of having everything so that also everything does smooth, does run more smoothly in terms of time and everything else and I'm not stressed and frustrated and stuff. And even like, you know, again, it goes with time, like I schedule stuff, and I should schedule stuff. Not that I can't be spontaneous, but still, it kind of helps. Number six is to, again, getting organized with my finances, because I know I could do better. I'm not like bad with them, but I can do better, and I'm obsessed with finance anyway. Like I love Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman, so yeah. Number seven is to try a new hobby. I'm actually going to change that and just say try something new. So although I do, the two hobbies that I was thinking of picking up, or at least like choosing from, was to learn either a guitar or go back to playing an instrument, um, which even though I'm it, I'm bad with tempos, like I want to do that. Or And also the other one is to actually learn how to sew and like, so I can make dresses and stuff. Um, but it's also just trying something new, something that maybe arises and it's a new opportunity. Just take it. Number eight, I've talked about this before, is to try to dress better, to make myself feel better. Not for like anyone else, just for myself and not frumpy. Number nine, I kind of want to do some sort of volunteer work or like go on the AIDS walk or anything like that. Number 10 is to put more effort into my schooling so I can raise my GPA, so I can get into a study abroad program. 11 is to take a trip somewhere, like anywhere. I don't care if it's like a one hour trip, I mean a one hour drive out to like Long Beach or something like that. Just a trip somewhere where like I stay for at least like two days and it's for like leisure. And then number 12 is to keep up with like my... I wrote down YouTube channels, but also with my blog. So, you know, up editing and uploading on time. Um, hold on, let me see the time on this. Okay, I have a minute to finish this up. So, uploading and editing on time, actually making stuff for my makeup channel and being more consistent with that and posting like a certain number that I'll insert here um, or in the vlog. Blog you know, a week, and then also keeping up with the vlog. But yeah, anyway, my minute's almost up, so I'm really tired, and I'll probably just start talking nonsense right now. If you like this, subscribe. If you have anything to add, any suggestions, comment below, and good night.